point on the east coast of South Korea is the Gosong Unification Observatory, where visitors can look across to the mountains of North Korea. It is here that the Gangwon Province Olympic hosts have launched an arts festival focusing on the tragic division of this land and hopes for its eventual unification. In addition to musical performances emphasizing the shared culture of the two Koreas, novelist Lee Wei So read a poetic prayer for peace. The 2018 Pyeongchang Olympics may give us a brief moment of unification as people of the South and North gather together and share their brotherly love. This theme of Korean reconciliation will be the focus of many of the more than 40 South Korean cultural events to be staged during the Olympics. South Korean officials hope North Korea's decision to send an Olympic delegation to Pyeongchang, including 140 artists and musicians to perform, will ease international concerns that a military conflict might erupt during the Games. People who are coming from abroad worry that this region may be very dangerous, but it will be our pleasure to work with them to ease their concerns. The DMZ itself, officials hope, will become an Olympic destination where visitors can see historical sites like the summer home of North Korean founding leader Kim Il-sung that became part of the South at the end of the Korean War in 1953. There is also a DMZ museum recounting decades of the tense military standoff between North and South, along with competing propaganda efforts that often use beauty and sex appeal to capture hearts and minds. Museum curator No Young Soo hopes that Korea's Olympic peace offensive will increase visitor interest in the divided history of the country. It has just been announced and is under progress, so I cannot quite feel it here yet, but I can suspect that it will influence South Koreans to pay attention to it. And Olympic officials in South Korea are trying to underscore the potential for peace by sending messages of friendship north of the border. Hyun's team, which looked at three venues today, spending the most time an hour at the National Theatre of Korea. After having dinner at their hotel, Hyun's team will go back to North Korea using the western route via the Gyeongui Line train. The team arrived in Seoul before lunchtime from Gangneung, one of the Winter Olympic host cities. There, they visited two venues for possible concerts. Hyun sung won is a confidant of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and is not only the singer of a popular North Korean band, she also leads the Samjeon Orchestra, which will be performing in South Korea during the Olympics. A 140-member art troupe, including the orchestra, plus singers and dancers, will give a concert, one concert each, in Seoul and Gangnam.